Exigo is India's second largest online travel agent, making more than 500 crores in revenue. The company has just filed for an IPO for a fresh capital of 120 crores and is bringing the fight to the top travel boss, Make My Trip, which by the way, was also an ex-investor that made 8x returns by investing in Exigo. This is the fourth episode of the profitable series of the Growth X5 game, and we'll dive deep into four core strategies that Exigo used to become the fastest growing online travel agent and how they're beating Make My Trip to the punch with a 46% share in the train travel market. And as with everything Growth X, let me give you some context first. See, India has changed in the last couple of decades. Our GDP per capita and disposable income both have increased. In fact, if you look at the private expenses incurred by an average Indian, transportation and hotel is our second largest expense. This shows that we really, really care about traveling, even as a developing country. If you take a close look at the trend in countries like China and emerging economies like Malaysia and Thailand, you'd see discretionary spending starts growing at a much faster rate when the GDP per capita crosses $4,000. And the same speed will take place in India as we'll go around 2028, 20, 29. And as that change happens, travel will become a bigger and bigger piece of our expenditure pie as a country. And by the way, even today, the travel industry is huge. It contributes a massive 6% to India's GDP. So now you know how big India's travel industry is. Now, you also should realize that India's internet penetration has been increasing and is now touching roughly 50%. People are buying more tickets than they were earlier. And this is the market where the founders Anup Bajpai and Rajesh Kumar, the two IIT batchmates, have managed to put a debt. Also, just remember, these two guys created Exigo in 2007 by leaving their comfortable jobs in France. That is not easy. Now, let's get down to the core insights that they cracked to get here. Starting with the first insight, pivots. See, one of the most amazing things about Exigo is that they don't fear pivoting. It's a rare company that has changed its business model thrice in the last 17 years. In fact, when they first started in 2007, they were just a search aggregator. This was a time when companies like Make My Trip, Yatra, and Clear Trip together owned 90% of the OTA market. The very first version of Exigo was both founders trying to create a Google of travel searches in India. Exigo was started as a search engine that would crawl across all portals like Make My Trip, Yatra, and airline websites to show results of all different travel options to the customers. Now, the customers would then click on these links and get redirected. And this worked well for them. They hit 100,000 visitors within seven months. Now, your question could be, how did they earn money during this time? There are three ways. One was the pay-per-click revenue they got after redirecting a customer to a certain website. Second was the ad revenue they got by selling ad spaces on their website since they had really good traffic. And the third was the fees they charged by listing hotel properties. But they realized that this was not going to be a massive business. So they pivoted into a planner and information-based model. They became a website that was showing everything from monuments to hotels, to restaurants, to petrol pumps, and even dhabas. Be it phone numbers, addresses, photos of places, or price of dishes at a restaurant, Exigo had all of it covered. And there was good traffic. But there was one Big problem. They were burning money and were making massive losses. They realized that they had no power over the customer. They couldn't save customers' information and were not handling payments. They had zero ability to cross-sell anything to their customers. That is when their last pivot came in 2019, when they went all in and became a complete OTA service provider. And since then, they've been following a house of brands model Pretty much like Make My Trip, which has four apps, which is Make My Trip, Go Ibibo, Red Bus, and Red Rail. Exigo also has four apps one for flights, one for buses, and two for trains. And that's what's unique. Exigo has two apps for trains. This is where things get interesting. And this is their second core strategy, which is their tier two and tier three focus. The main USP of Exigo is that their core ICT is different from other OTAs. The OTA giants like Make My Trip have always used a top-down approach to penetrate Indian users. They focused first on the evolved tier one market, and then the tier two and rural parts of the country came in. And this is pretty evident from their business avenues. Most of it comes from flights and hotels. And the reason why Make My Trip and other OTAs do this is also very simple. There's great margin in that business. On the other hand, the railway business is not their priority because it's an extremely low margin business. For example, in airlines, buses, and hotels, you can earn a margin of anywhere from 5% to 30%. But in trains, 
OT is only on a flat of 20 to 40 rupees per ticket. This is way less. But this is where Ixigo saw the opportunity to scale using the low margin, high volume business model. For Ixigo, it's the complete opposite compared to other OTAs as almost 61% of their entire revenue comes from railway tickets. And the railway tickets is also the fastest growing business segment for them. They are using the bottom up approach for penetrating the Indian audience and are focusing more on tier 2 and tier 3 cities to start off. In fact, Ixigo, like all of us, refer to this core target market as the next billion users of the country. Next billion users are basically the internet users from tier 2 and 3 cities and the end up penetrated rural areas of the country. These users are not primarily flight travelers and they prefer trains or buses instead. These users comprise 90% of India's train and bus segment and 50% of the hotel and flight segment. In fact, if you look at the data, you'll see that India's flight market is still supremely untapped. Only 4% of India flies and the prices are 5 to 10x more than a regular train ticket. And most Indians don't mind traveling for long hours as they prefer cost over time. Exigo has targeted their ICP extremely well. They have been the most successful player in this category. In fact, out of all the bookings of Exigo in 2023, 95% of them had tier 2 or 3 cities as either the origin or the destination location. And Exigo's team was so serious about establishing the train mode that they were the first official IRCTC OTA partners to send train tickets. And they made a lot of decisions over time to make sure that they stayed on top. One of these decisions was acquiring confirmed ticket which was another highly trustable and successful train booking app that had mastered curating real-time train information and predicting confirmation rate for tickets. This decision again was a masterstroke as confirmed ticket was selling almost 30,000 tickets per day and serving 5 million monthly users when Ixigo acquired them. This horizontal acquisition helped them in becoming the market leader in the space as they also added those users to their current existing base. Now, if you've been liking these insights, welcome to the club. We're a fellow startup and growth nerd like we are. And I have the perfect thing in store for you. We are hosting the 18th edition of the GrowthX Demo Day. Now, the idea is simple. The top two GrowthX capsule teams will present in-depth growth strategies. Now, over the course of these pitches, you'll learn how to design your revenue model, understand nuances of customer acquisition, onboarding, and retention for your products, and I measure the beast, converting free users to paid, plus increasing average revenue per user. Demo Day is the mecca of growth and is joined by founders, product and marketing folks in the audience. It's this Sunday, the 10th of March. Oh, and you can join the event for free because we love the YouTube fan. But we have limited seats and it's first come first serve. So grab your passes quick. The link is in the description. Super. Getting back to the moat of Ixigo and their third core strategy, building trust. Avit, why don't you tell them? Thanks, Arsh. See, when it comes to the travel industry, the only true USP a company has in the long run is trust. Because travel not only involves money, but involves a lot and lot of time. And honestly, when it comes to trains, we all know this, right? The IRCDC website has faced a lot of issues over time. It's either completely down or it's super slow. So when Ixigo became an official reseller of IRCDC tickets, it was a relief for a lot of customers. As they were going to Ixigo's apps, and not getting redirected to the IRCTC slow website. But here, they were really solving two core pain points of the users. The first one was uncertainty. Because see, when it comes to the trains, there's a concept of waiting list, which means that a ticket may or may not get confirmed depending on the availability, right? And the reason why this happens is because Indian Railways has a big demand and supply problem. In fact, it's such a big problem that the government is trying to solve it by investing 1 lakh crores. But that conversation is for some other day, folks. Right now, let's get into the waiting list part. Waiting list makes the customer experience really, really uncertain. As a customer would only get to know on the travel day if his ticket is confirmed or not. I mean, that sounds really, really painful. But it is how it is. Ixigo solved this for users by predicting a success percentage of whether a ticket will get confirmed or not. They used machine learning. They used AI. They studied all the PNR data of last four to five years to make sure the algorithm is extremely accurate. In fact, the confirmed ticket acquisition that we talked about earlier in the video really helped them out. Along with this, their app also went one step ahead to suggest alternative transport suggestions. For example, if you would not get a train ticket from A to B, 
this app would suggest you to take a bus from A to C and then take a train from B to C. I mean that's super convenient because users do not really have this information, right? This confirmation feature along with this highly accurate arrival and real-time seat information made people rely on Exigo. People were looking up to the app for everything trains. In fact, they even launched an offline app that could run without the internet because internet connection in trains, as you know, is usually messed up. The second way Exigo solved the trust problem was by making free funds extremely smooth. Because let's face it, refunds process are super annoying. This refund problem became a big concern especially in a covid crisis, right? Exigo solved this by launching a service called Exigo Assured. This was basically a no question asked refund feature which they made available for just 500 bucks. In fact, their average refund time for all the requests in 2023 was 2 hours 40 minutes. That is something. Not only this, they were one of the very few OTAs who offer smooth refunds in covid crisis. And while other companies like Make My Trip were laying off staff, Exigo was doubling down on customer service. All of this not only created trust, but also brought a lot of organic word of This brings me to their last core strategy, the upselling and cross-selling flyweed. See, Exigo has used trains as an entry barrier for upselling or cross-selling other high margin services, be it flight, hotels, and buses. Because once a customer is satisfied after using the train and he trusts Exigo, they would not think twice about using the Exigo app again for better experiences. Once customers are using the app, Exigo would use these loyal customers to get ad revenue by displaying ads of various companies. For example, they had 40 crore unique customers in 2023, which is an immense amount of traffic count for any advertiser, right? And once these customers are really, really satisfied, these users are later upsold either flight or bus tickets, a great way to capture high margin businesses. And it is not just upselling they are trying to do, they are also cross-selling. They also plug services like their free rescheduling and no question asked refund services when the customer is buying a ticket. Their Exigo Assured Refund Service and Exigo Assured Flex Rescheduling Service also comes at a really, really affordable price and becomes tempting for any dicey or unsure customer while they're booking a ticket on the app. Now, since the customer has a safety cushion, he doesn't think twice before buying the ticket. This instills more confidence and psychology play works like a charm here. But still, the ad revenue and value added services are really, really good sources, but 95% of the revenue still lies in the ticketing business. And hence the main plan that Exigo is going after is about expanding their booking business, which would be not very difficult considering they've already mastered the train segment. Now, the only thing they need to do is expand in the bus, flight and hotel booking space to get better margins into the pocket. That was Exigo's growth strategy for you. Now, we want to give a massive shout out to Alok and Rajneesh for taking the next big step and taking Exigo public. This is just a small milestone for what's about to come for Indian startup ecosystem. And as we always say, we are super, super bullish on the founders paving India's growth story. That's it for today. And I'll see you on the demo day this Sunday.